Hey everybody, it's Tanya, Thrifty Treasures. It's Saturday morning and it's raining. <laughs> Cats and dogs here. But I'm hoping to get over to that community sale and I'm hoping that maybe some people are still having uh, their sales maybe up in their garage. So we'll see. Let me flip the camera around and show you guys what this crazy weather's like. So yeah, raining a good bit here. Yay, I found a sale. So I'm gonna try and show you guys everything that I pick up as I go, <laughs> hoping for the best. You know, sometimes I get so excited, I just start going, going, going. But um, yeah, so everything I'm about to show you, I got for just $4. So I picked up this really nice fossil backpack. And it's still in pretty good condition. And there's the fossil logo there on the back. And it's also in the front part too right there so that's a really good brand i'm not even sure what these retail for but i would say probably at least 70 or more so i got that and then i picked up this bag to put all my stuff in that's cute but yeah this is really neat this is a gigantic ball mason jar look how big it is it's huge so i will probably store jewelry in here you see how it smells maybe food we'll see i need to clean it well, I'll open that later, but for, I think she said a dollar for that. Like I said, four bucks for everything. Um, and then I picked up a couple books, a practical guide to dragons and a practical guide to monsters. These were 50 cents each. Uh, let's see here. I picked up the zombie survival guide, recorded attacks. I don't even know if these are worth anything, but they were so cheap. I just went ahead and picked them up. Worst case scenario, I'll put them in my booth. So yeah, that is what I picked up there for four bucks. On to the next one. Okay, pulling up to the next sale. Okay, I've been to a couple more sales, so I'm gonna show you what I got real quick. Um, I did pick up this, Voc hopefully I'm saying this right, Vokterbach, uh Christmas mug. It was a quarter. And then that's what the bottom looks like. These are really collectible. And then I picked up a couple purses. This one here is uh, Coach for $5, but it has a lot of the piling or pilling, whatever you call it. So I'm hoping that my purse expert friends uh, Tammy and Thelma and Ann uh, can maybe help me figure out how I can maybe get this off so I can still uh, sell it or maybe even carry it, probably sell it. Uh, maybe a sweater shaver, I'm not even sure, but I'm curious to know what my expert friends think about this one. And then I picked up one more. I love this blue, it's so pretty. And it has this really long silver strap on it. And this one was only $1. And this one is by I didn't recognize the name, but the inside says Gear Ness, Norway. Let me see if I can show you the tag. So hopefully y'all can see that. Um, but yeah, I haven't looked that one up yet, but oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I love the color. It almost looks like mermaid scales, right? So, um, oh, it got stuck on my, my driver shift thingy. Okay, so off to the next one. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Okay, been to a couple more sales, and I picked up these silver bunny like salad utensils to mix salad with and to serve it. So these look like Arthur Court, but I can't find them marked anywhere. I mean, I haven't looked really hard either. But uh, yeah, these were just one dollar, and then also for one dollar, I got all the jewelry in this box right here. So I was going to show you real quick. Um, this one is actually marked, I think it said Eisenberg. Um, it is missing a stone though, but I think I could still sell it anyway. It's a really pretty uh, blingy snowflake. And then this one is a really pretty like a fall wreath. And that's what the back looks like. And another snowflake. 
This one can actually be a brooch or a pendant. That one's not marked, I don't think. And then this little deer is marked A J. It might be AJC, AJM. I'm not sure, but he sure is cute. And this little snowman, he's silver and gold. He can also be a pendant or a brooch. And he is marked on the back best. Same thing with this one, except it's an angel. Also marked best can be a pendant or a brooch. And that's it. All those brooches for one buck. That's not bad, huh? All right, so off to the next one. Okay, so I finished up garage selling and I stopped in Goodwill real quick and I found this awesome banker's lamp. It was $10. And I'm probably going to put it in my antique booth probably for about $39. Maybe less. I don't know yet. It's been a while since I've had one of these in my booth, so probably need to see what you can buy them for new. And the last thing I bought was a Game of Thrones mug. It was 99 cents and it says, I drink and I know things. So I never really watched this show. I've heard it's really good and I probably should, but yeah, um, I figured somebody might want this. So I'll try and get that listed. So I hope that you guys enjoyed my ride along this morning for Saturday Garage Sales. And um, I am off to get the rest of the day started with the kids. And we will see you in the next one. Please uh, like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. We, we will see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.